acknowledge Australia's Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, the traditional custodians of lands, waterways and skies across Australia. We thank you for sharing and caring for the land we learn and play on. We pay our respects to elders and we share our friendship and kindness. Hi, my name is Dusty Wilson and I am a descendant of the Kuma and Murawari people. I'm the founder of Dreamtime Games based here in Toowoomba. Traditional Indigenous games were played by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander tribes all across the nation for a variety of reasons, including to teach valuable life skills and for fun. Today in this workshop, I'll be teaching you how to play the traditional Aboriginal throwing game, Gori. Today's workshop is brought to you by Youth Connect and the Toowoomba Regional Council. For this activity, you will need two or more players, an area approximately 15 metres long, a large ball such as a fitness ball or yoga ball, to use as our target, and some tennis balls. The word gori comes from Central Australia and was used to not only describe the game, but the unique bark disc used to play the game. This is a moving target game where a piece of rounded bark was rolled by one of the players for the other boys to use as a target for their short spears. The bark disc was carved using a stone axe or sometimes molded with stiff clay. For this modern variation of gori, we will be using a tennis ball as our spear and the large fitness ball as our gory disc. Once you have your game area set out, each player will need a tennis ball or two to throw, and one player will need to be the target ball roller. The player rolling the target ball stands to one side of the playing area and in front of the other players. The players throwing at the target call out for the ball to be rolled when they are ready. The thrower yells out, gul gul, and rolls the target ball. Players then throw or roll their tennis balls at the larger target ball and try to hit it. After their turn, players wait until told and then collect the balls that they have thrown. You can use a whole variety of different items from around your house as the target. Try using different sized and shaped balls or even use a cardboard box tied to a string which can be pulled through the target area. For an extra added challenge, you can replace the target ball with a hula hoop with the aim to either throw the tennis ball through the hoop or hit the hoop and make it stop rolling. And that's it, you've played the traditional Aboriginal throwing game of Gori. I visit lots of different schools and outside school hour care and vacation care programs right across southeast Queensland and teach kids about the traditional indigenous games. To find out more, you can head to my website at dreamtimegames.com.au. We would love to see photos or footage of you and your family and friends playing Gori. Please share your photos using the hashtag homeprojecttr on social media.